Hello there. Let's see how we can find if the limit exists on a graph. So I have a question for you here, which reads, for the function g of x graphed here, which is this graph here, find the limit, the following limits, or explain why they do not exist. For a, we have limit of g of x as x approaches 1, b limit of g of x as x approaches 2 and so we have limit of g of x as x approaches 3 and d we have limit of g of x as x approaches 2.5 so for a to find a limit we look at the uh, negative side or we find the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 this one here from the negative side and from there we find the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side and if these limits are equal then or they are the same then the limit exists okay so for question a the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 we first find the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 from the negative which is from the negative side which is in this case is equals to 1 as we can see on this graph as we approach this one from the negative side the value of y we are approaching is this one here so the left side or the the left side limit is positive 1 so let's find the right side limit or as we are approaching x from the positive side the value is uh, the limit is zero that is if we approach the value of y on this graph from the positive we can see here that the value of y becomes zero it becomes zero so from the uh, right side limit or the positive side limit as we approach it from the positive the value of y is zero and approaching from the negative the value of y or the limit is one meaning the limit for g of x as x approaches one do not exist it does not exist the limit does not exist because approaching it from the negative side it is equals to to 1 and approaching from the positive side it is equals to 0 so the limit does not exist so let's go for B so B says the limit of G of X as X approaches positive 2 so we go where X is equals to 2 which it which is at that point there and then we see the limit of X of G of X as X approaches pos, uh, 2 from the negative side you can see that the value of Y there it is one so the limit as x as uh, the limit of g of x as x approaches two from the negative side it is one and then we also find the limit of g of x as x approaches two from the positive side so from the graph here if we approach two from the positive side here we are going to see that the value of y is equals to that one there so the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 from the negative side is equals to 1 and the limit uh, of g of x as x approaches 2 from the positive side is equals to 1 that concludes to say the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 is equals to 1 so the limit exists because the left side limit is equals to the right side limit which is equals to one so we move on to question c so for c c is saying the limit of g of x as x approaches three so meaning we go on this point here so we use the same criteria we find the limit as x is uh, as three as x approaches three from the negative side and as x approaches three from the 
uh, the limit of x as x is a, as three is approached from the positive and from the negative we are going uh, we are seeing that the value which we are the, we are getting is zero is zero so it will be zero there so the value of y will be zero so for c the limit of g of x as x approaches three from the negative to be zero and from the positive it is zero so the limit exists and the limit is zero okay so having done that let's try d and let me see your answer in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching remember don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment in the comment section below